Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising signs between March 16th and March 26th so let's go ahead and get right into you guys. Alright what's going on with our Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising signs? What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them during this time? All right, quick disclaimer for a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in a chronological order. And for other of you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week. So just take what resonates with you guys. All right, what's going on with my Capricorns? Okay. okay, so there may be some pressure to start some new things in your life during this time. You do have the Ace of Cups here as well as the Eight of Swords. So pressure to start new things and some anxiety. That's like seven cards, okay. Let's see it. Three more cards for our Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, some King of Cups. So a lot of you guys may be desiring some romance during this time as well. The Chariot is in reverse. You may be feeling like things are stagnant. Things may not be moving forward um, in your love life or in your productive life. You also have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse as well. So finances may not be where you want it to be. And then you have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, and I feel like overall your energy is like, wow, this Five of Cups is here. So during this time, Capricorn, I feel like you guys, overall, you're going to be feeling like you're not wanting to put your all into things. You're just wanting to be more practical, take your time, not fighting for things. A lot of you guys may be going through a period of time where you're very quiet. And I'm a Capricorn stellium, Capricorn sun and moon to be exact. And it's crazy because lately I have been feeling like closed off. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really been wanting to be involved with socializing with other people and being around other people. I've just been wanting to be around particular people that I love and care about. And I do see that for you guys during this time. But something that is really you know, standing out to me during this time is the chariot being in reverse, letting me know that there may be some delays in progress during this time, and it may be delays with finances. So govern yourself accordingly when it comes to your finances. All right. So let's get into this Ace of Cups energy. Now, this is an overflow of love an overflow of abundance and I also see an overflow of success coming through for you guys during this time and with this overflow of success and happiness coming through with this ace of cups energy I feel like from an emotional standpoint you guys are going to be wanting to be involved with other people or just particular people like I was saying the energy of <clears throat> The energy of wanting to connect with someone that you love deeper, you know, during this time. And I feel like it's important to have those connections. You know, I feel like you guys are wanting to be personal with particular people. Say, for instance, if you guys are in a relationship, you're wanting to deepen the connections with the person that you're intimate with rather than people that you, you know are platonic friends with with the eight of swords energy i do see there may be some in 
anxiety or some shyness or you closing yourself off during this time away from people that you may usually communicate with or you just may be closing yourself off just to not be entertained or not be involved with others because there's so much going on in your mind and with this eight of swords energy is letting us know hey don't self-sabotage yourself don't you know be lazy don't be stagnant let's get the work done let's get organized so this king of cups energy i do feel like you all are needing love you're needing somebody to vent to you're needing somebody to confide in you and listen to you and allow you to cry allow you to open up allow you to expand your knowledge or share your ideas with and with this king of cups energy i love it because it's letting me know that Capricorn, we're finally in this space where we're wanting to be vulnerable, we're wanting to love, and there may be some, you know, blockages that may be happening during this time, but it's still necessary for us to express this vulnerability, this love, this emotion, our feminine side. And with the chariot card being in reverse as well as the ace of pentacles is letting me know that there may be some delays on some finances, some things may be pushed back. But even though it's delayed, it doesn't mean that the finances are going to be denied. It's just letting us know that financial um, finances may be very slow during this time, especially we have Uranus and Taurus. So let's go ahead and get into the numerology card so we can see what our Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs should mainly be focusing on during this week. And the first card to come through is number five, change. So we need to be focusing on, you know, changes that are needing to happen for us, changes that we can't control, changes that are inevitable for our growth. We also have number 22, intuition, and our intuition is going to help guide us down the paths that we're needing to take during this time, Capricorn. It's also going to give us signals for some of us, you guys. We're going to be getting messages in our dreams that are going to be helping us make decisions or giving us the answers to some questions that we may have had. And number 81, leadership. And I feel like leadership is letting us know it's time for us to take ownership um, when it comes to our lives, when it comes to our careers and the things that we want to be successful in in life. All right. We're going to get into the Black Moon Astrology card so we can see what our Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs need to hear right now in this moment. So we have the 10th house, the world, which is actually ruled by Capricorn. So let's get into it. We have number 34, the 10th house. The 10th house, the world, the desire for fame tempts even noble minds. Fame and the world at large. In astrology, the 10th house, which is at the top of the zodiac, embodies the masculine principle and presents the father or a primary male influence, or at least a very powerful, influential man. It can also represent the man in a woman's life. Because the 10th house, opposes the fourth house it can sometimes represent the woman or the mother in your life but mostly the tenth house stands for reputation and standing this is an ambitious card it's about owning the world and being on top of the world it is the ultimate card to have for when you need to be confident in what you are doing and to go for what you want and nothing less because the 10th house is the house of Capricorn, it indicates you are about to put forth a diligent and concentrated effort and 
with this eight of swords energy i know we see the anxiety and everything but i do see you guys closing yourself off to better yourself better your life the climb in the advancements of your reputation is what the 10th house card means when it turns up in a spread it also suggests looking at everything as the big picture since the 10th house is ruled by Saturn, being required to tell the truth or to be honest will have great bearing on how you advance your goals. People will discuss what you are doing, what you have started or are about to make. You may be contacted by the media, become recognized, or at least you will see your efforts in some public forum. The matter in hand may have something to do with governments traveling to other lands or encountering foreigners. Or it could just mean your ambitions are about to gain momentum. Layers of illusion will be removed. Your essential self disclose. This could be in relation to the public or a possible love interest. If a love interest that could be older or more established or they will work along beside you in meeting your goals if this card comes up it can sometimes mean playing along with the status quo to get ahead it could be to do with paying your dues grabbing what you can and taking advantage of the situation this card suggests how high you can go in this lifetime or at least concerning the issue at hand since it symbolizes the world, it also represents the earth. So working the land or acquiring land is something that may come into play and can therefore denote growth, crops, plants, farmers, and farming. Since Saturn plays in this car can also represent a reaper such as in you reap what you sow. So with the 10th house card, you get back what you give. In essence, Though this is the primary card of fame and infamy, your legacy and what you will become known for. It is the house of success and failure. And this card will tell you of what will likely come about depending on the surrounding cards and upon the energies that surround you at the current time. Truth and honesty will decide this matter. The universe is supporting you now. So this is the perfect time for you guys to be supported. It's the perfect time for you to, you know, go in the hermit mode and find yourself, dive deep into yourself and figure out what it is that you're wanting to do and isolating and growing, following your intuition and taking ownership of your life. Let's go ahead and get into the Moonology card so we can see what energies are surrounding our Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. The first card to come out is Surrender to the Divine with the Full Moon Energy, as well as Bring Love into the Situation, New Moon in Aquarius, and then we have Have Faith in Your Dreams, and this is the Waxing Crescent Moon. So a lot of purple colors, a lot of purple energy surrounding you during this time. Surrender to the divine and start to bring love into the situation. Start to be more vulnerable and tapping more into your feminine energy and your feminine side. So we're going to get into the Starseed Oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from the spirit. What messages do my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs have? We have Deep Cellular Healing. This is Arcturus Energy. Physical and Emotional Healing. We have Weight of the World, Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Right, you guys have your life is a canvas artist manifestation creative accountability you guys also have forge don't follow we already talked about leadership you guys you are the leader it says pave a new path be a leader you wish you had and last but not least you have the courageous peony multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen all right, it's time to show the world the real you, basically. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Capricorns. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.